Hi, I'm Will Stevens, the program director here this year at Camp Horseshoe. This is our parade field, and it's actually the home of one of the most traditional things we do at camp. It's really definitive for what we are. Every night here, 545, the scouts are assembled, and we do a full-on retreat ceremony. The scouts line up over here and they move around and stop just shy of the end of the flagpoles where they have their flags hanging. And then of course I move on down and with the camp director ask them to do their senior patrol leader report where they tell us how many are in camp and that they are reporting here. 253, 25 on line, 4 on taller guard, 6 on staff line, 6 on <coughs> Sherwood Forest reporting Then of course we have the lowering of the colors. <laughs> do our report, the color guard starts to move across the field and we move off. It's a really neat experience and one of my favorite parts of camp is on Saturday night, the week has ended, the scouts have finished up with their merit badges and their families come in for the afternoon and the evening to visit and they get to see their boys, some of them their sons, some of them their brothers, and they've never seen them do anything like it before. Uh, it's, it's really just this magical time where scouts who you wouldn't expect it, first year scouts who are 12 and 13 years old, gather together and move as one unit. None of them are perfect, none of them are ready to join a drill sergeant, but to see these young men start to become adults uh, at camp and is just incredible. And this is one of the places you see it. Uh, the reverence and respect that, you know, scouts who are trying to sneak food around the dining hall, passing notes and giggling here, solemnly looking at the flag as it comes down. It's really a magical moment. Hey, it's me again. It's day three. This is Jake. Say hi, hi Jake. I work in headquarters. Work, Jake, yeah, Jake works in headquarters. Jake's, uh, the, the footage you saw of the flagpole at the beginning, oh, Jake's idea. It was a pretty sharp pencil. Uh, Jake, I got all the emails to go through here. All right. Um, I don't need to read this one. This one is from Dr. Botts. Thank you, Dr. Botts. I appreciate you getting you back in touch. And uh, I hope to talk to you soon. Craig Dixon uh, wrote in, he said, uh, I hope you're having fun. YouTube seems to be grumbling about your first video. Yeah, I had a little problem uploading it and making a... Uh, putting it together, but uh, I think we got that taken care of. And Craig's, there's another message from Craig in here somewhere, but... From, uh, from Eric Rigger from Troop 623 at Camp Tokwitz. Yeah, out there in Camp Tokwitz. How you doing, Eric? Um, seems like you're having fun out there, and... Um, Let's see, what did he say? Where's Camp Tokwitz? Uh, 623, I don't see a place. San Bernardo Mountain? San Bernardino, out in California. Awesome. At 6,500 feet. We're at uh, about 200 feet above sea level. Yeah. And we're in the uh, mid-Atlantic near Rising Sun, Maryland. It's a little bit different <clears throat> here, Eric. I don't know if you figured that out yet or not. Tom Gillard? Yeah, Tom Gillard. He's my buddy. He's down in Tullahoma, Tennessee. And uh, Tom says that uh, he was thinking that it would be cooler for us, but it was cooler for him at summer camp, temperature-wise. I think it was equally cool 
in that kind of coolness uh, yeah. factor. Um, but Tom was is a good time at summer camp. So uh, thanks, Tom. Thanks for getting in touch. Who Bill, else got? Bill McFarland sent in a riddle. So what is both a happy and sad time at camp? A happy and sad time at camp. Oh uh, man. I, I'm drawing a blank. What did he have to say? An empty campsite. An empty campsite. And why is that? Well, it's because happy when the troop arrives in great expectations and sad when the troop leaves. Uh, who's that, Bill McFarland? Yeah. Bill. Bill. Shakespeare Bill. How about that? Uh, Steve Brindle got in touch, and Steve Brindle said, uh, I hope you're having a blast at camp. We just got back from Woodruff Scout Reservation in northern Georgia. Uh, somehow, whenever I get back from summer camp, I find he works at headquarters, so he has to do stuff occasionally. So uh, it's nothing personal. Um, anyway, back to Stephen's e email. He said, somehow, whenever I get back from summer camp, I find several unclaimed items in our van. Underwear, socks, t-shirts, belts, and such. I got to tell you, you know, I still have uh, lost and found items that I've been using for 15 or 20 years. Uh, we never can find out who they belong to. I guess every troop has the same problem. Looking forward to your daily letters from Camp Best Wishes. Thanks, Stephen, for getting in touch. Let's see, we hit Craig already. I better put these over here. Got that one. What else we got? Did you say Marty McCabe already? Marty McCabe. Marty McCabe's an old camp buddy of mine, and I know who you are, Marty, and we'll be in touch soon. Okay? Come down to the White House and we can make a video, new video together. That's right. Thanks, Marty. <clears throat> uh, Tom Didiman? Yeah, we know Tom. Um, yeah. What do you have to say? Um, got your letter from day one. Fun. Uh, be great to see what campers think. That's right, and we're going to tell you what campers think, oh, Tom. Yeah. We're going to figure that one out. What is the from Mike Frame? What is the food like a camp horseshoe that just got covered in day two? That did get covered in day two. I can. It's way better than any camp I've been to. I can tell you that. And make sure to show us the waterfront. We're going to make sure to do that sometime uh, in the next couple of days. Do they have seconds? For food huh, and thirds and fourths and fifths. Except for dessert. Except for dessert, yeah. Um, Tom Ferrarotti? Ferrarotti. Ferrarotti. Yeah. Um, nice picks. Please explain the flagpoles. Um, does each troop hoist up a flag when they're there? Jake? So, the beautiful flagpoles over there. Each troop makes their own flag pole and there's some scouts walking by but um each troop has their own flag pole and they can put up their own flag some uh troops actually have their own flag pole like donated it like a paoli one and i know 181 has it uh -huh. so that it, that's the flag poles for you yeah so who is that tom uh tim 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 yeah <clears throat> thanks for getting in touch tim yeah tell your ranger about that and raise the money and put up the flag poles there you go I'll leave this one to you. Okay, and yeah, oh, from Craig Dixon again. Now, Craig is out in, in uh, Poway, California, and he's the Scoutmaster of Troop 682, and uh, Jake's going to do business again. He's actually working right now, believe it or not. And uh, Craig's been in touch with me before because he's an old Camp Horseshoe alumni from Troop 85 in 1974 to 1979. And he said, I'm glad you did mention the dining hall program. I would have liked to have seen more like Who Killed Cock Robin, mate. Who, the song, Who Killed Cock Robin. Uh, we sang that uh, the other night. And if you're not familiar with that song, it's a great camp, uh, it's a great camp song. Come around here, Dennis, say no, hello. I'm not. No, you hear his voice and you don't see him, which is probably best for you, but that's my buddy, uh, Scoutmaster Troop 14 in Westchester, Pennsylvania. The famous to? Dennis Runyon. I'm talking to the camera, Dennis. Go away now. Um, but anyway, back to Craig's email. Uh, he says, where's Ernie these days? Well, Ernie Hegard was the camp director here for 29 years and also a longtime scoutmaster. Ernie's still involved in camp. We still see him every summer. You'd be glad to know. Um, we're going to cut this part. <clears throat> uh, I, I will look for a Troop 85 plaque. I will try and look for those. I know there's... A lot of plaques. Can we cut to a shot of that? Lots of plaques in the dining hall. And we, we, if we can find one, Jake promises that we'll have a picture of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all the emails I've gotten so far this week. You can email me, okay? Go into the post that contains this video at scoutmasterycg.com. You'll get instructions on how to send me an email down here at camp. They have an advanced technological system. Show them all the emails. How impressive is that? A lot. Okay. So they have an advanced technological system that handles the email down here, and they put it in my mailbox, and I'll read it to you right here. Uh, on uh, one of our letters from summer camp. So that's day three. Until next time, everybody. Wave, Jake. <laughs>